This is a message for the new fourth year group, or the third years that I have been working with since June of last year. Uh, firstly, it's just to let you know that I will still be a year ahead until at least the summer holidays, so for the month of June, and possibly slightly after that, and that is just at the moment just for some consistency for you and your parents as we go forward. Um, I just want to hope that you're all well and I hope that you're keeping yourself safe and healthy and your families are safe and healthy and I want you to understand that I do recognise that these times are very difficult at the moment, quite challenging for many and some people are very anxious at the moment uh, with what's happening. Um, I just want to reassure you that you have a support network around you at Gillespie's and don't be afraid to use uh, people who are willing and able to help you in whatever way, shape or form that might be. And that's not just including myself as your head, because I know I have emailed some of you to see how you are, but it's also your people support leaders, your guidance teachers, your key adults, your class teachers who are very important and also of course uh, any support for learning. Um, teachers that you may be working with. So there's lots of people to support you and to help you uh, during this time and as I said please do reach out to them. Um, as I said your health and well-being and your safety is a number one priority and I want to reassure you all that when schools do return after summer that these will remain our priorities for you to make sure that you're safe when you come back so it's a safe and clean environment and obviously it will be following all the guidelines issued. Now at the moment we don't know what that will look like on the return to school but a message will come out to you all from Mr MacDonald or myself during the month of June to let you know from August what the plan will be like. But at the moment I want to say to you please don't worry about that, please don't get yourself anxious about that because these are things that are out of your control and you can only concentrate on keeping yourself well and keeping yourself safe and away from any risk and these are things that you can control. Leave the worrying of how schools will open over to us um, and any other worries you have for example in fourth year about maybe exams or any topics that you may have missed over the last few months. Again, I want to reassure you not to worry about that at all because teachers will support you on your turn with your work. What I would say at the moment is really important that you do try and engage with as many tasks and as work set by your teachers as possible. Now, this is really for your own transition back into school, so your gap maybe is slightly less, because if you haven't done anything or done very little over the last few weeks, then that transition for you coming back into classes may be slightly trickier, and we don't want that to happen. We want to try and make it as smooth a process as possible for you. Now, I completely understand that some of you have issues with accessing tasks or completing tasks, and maybe you have so many tasks to do, um, if that is the case, please, you must let your guidance teacher, your people support teacher know if you are feeling overwhelmed about a task, because they are there and we are here to support you. Um, also, it's really important that you reach out to your class teacher, so if you can't manage to complete a task for the deadline, please let your class teacher know, either through a post on Teams or by emailing the school email address, which was included in an email I sent out this week to you. So it's really important that you do reach out and let people know that you're not managing maybe to complete tasks um, as people will be very supportive and they will not judge you in the slightest. So it's really important that you do know that. But again, try and engage with those, with those tasks. Now, as far as a, as a pupil engagement plan that has been developed, which will be started this week, and that is to support you with your engagement with tasks. Um, and that process really is, if you, do, if you don't complete a task and the teacher hasn't heard from you, there's been issues with that, then the teacher will reach out to you and will message you on Teams or by your school email address. It's really important that you're accessing your school email regularly, so every day you're checking your school email. Now, if your class teacher hasn't heard back from you, you haven't replied to their email asking if you're okay, um, and if you still haven't completed the task, your class teacher is going to get really worried, and they will then alert their curricular leader who will contact home, just to check everything's okay at home, and do you need any further support. So the main aim is to support you and to help you to try and do as many tasks as you can. But as I said earlier on, you're 
your health and well-being is really important here and we don't want you to be anxious unnecessarily. Please reach out if that is the case and let somebody know, including myself, and we are here to support you. Um, any communications from your guidance teacher or support for learning, please do respond to, that's important, so they know also that you are okay. And if you need any um, resources at home to help with your learning, again, please let your guidance teacher know that and we will help you in some way. Um, it's important in your daily routine, and I'd be saying this to you in an assembly, that you do take some exercise and you do some recreational activities, activities for fun. Um, so you must make sure that you look after yourself, that's a key message here. Look after yourself, get out, get some fresh air, follow the guidelines issued obviously by NHS and keep your social distancing. Don't put yourself or your family at risk of catching anything. But it was really just today a message to reassure you that you have a support team around you here at school, even if you're not physically still here, we can still be contacted by email and um, so please do that if you are having any issues whatsoever um, and also to let you know that I will still be a year ahead for the next few weeks. I just want to close by saying I do hope that you are staying well, that you're not taking risks, that you are keeping yourself occupied, that you're having a balance in your day um, of doing some schoolwork but also some things uh, for enjoyment as well. And I'm sure that many of you are looking forward to catching up with your friends um, at school. I certainly am missing seeing everybody, including all my uh, colleagues and the staff and also yourselves as a year group. I'm missing seeing everybody very much indeed and I'm looking forward to seeing you once a plan has been established on your return to school. So stay safe, keep well, keep healthy, do the best that you can at school and please remember to reach out and let someone know if you're having any issues or if you're worried about anything at all. Okay, I hope to see you very shortly and I'll put another message out before summer. Okay, thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.